Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Britt, creator of The Style Shaker, and I am back with a review for the Beauty Counter Counter Time Serum. I usually try these out for two weeks. I only made it to one week on this, so if you wanna know why, then stick around and let's get into it. All right, let's do a quick rundown here of what this serum is supposed to be doing. It's $79. Supposed to visibly increase skin's firmness and elasticity. Reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. Optimize hydration for a radiant complexion. By the way, these are all coming directly from their website. I'm not making it up. And that's what I tested it against. So did it give me firmer skin, smoother skin, brighter skin, and did it reduce those fine lines and wrinkles? I want to take a minute here because I, I don't want to get too far into the video because I know a lot of people sort of tune out after three minutes. You go onto their website, you're going to see over 700 five-star reviews. When I see 700 five-star reviews, I ask myself one question. How is that even possible? Is it that good? I gotta give it a try. Now, my skin only went for a week and it actually did the exact opposite of what it said it would do, but that's just me and my skin. And you know, this is not a one size fits all situation. The thing is, when I contacted the company and said, hey, I'd love to leave a review because something just fell off. I usually don't leave reviews on these websites. Like I rarely leave them on Sephora. I probably should, seeing as how, but I do this whole channel. So anyway, I asked if I could leave a review because I thought, hey, this is weird. I can't just directly get on their website and leave a review. Huh, that's funny. They wrote me back very friendly, cordial email and they said, you know, thanks for writing us. I'll put a copy of the email here. But they basically were telling me you haven't been invited to write or leave a review. So I want to be very, very clear here to Beauty Counter and let them know that personally as a consumer, I find vetting reviews to be deceptive. Now, are they doing it for that reason? Probably not. Maybe there's maybe there's just too many reviews but want to leave on the site and it overloads the server. Do I think that's the case? Case? No, absolutely not, but I'm just putting it out there because why not? Still, if I can't leave a review and there are over 700 five-star reviews, like, come on guys, something's amiss. Other question, how many of those reviews are from your consultants? Because this is an MLM. Well, personally, I do not like MLMs. That is me. I do not have any like bias towards anybody that's a consultant. I'm all for women doing what they got to do and making money, but I don't like it. I don't like the structure. It feels very, you know what? I won't say it because I don't want to get into like too much of that legalese. This is coming from somebody that posts products and reviews and I clearly disclose that I have affiliate links and I let you know if something's been gifted, you can click on an affiliate link. Yes, I make a percentage of the commission, but I am not manufacturing that product. So I'm trying to cover all all the different angles of what somebody else could say back to me for me saying that. The real reason why I am not going to buy this again is because it didn't work for my skin, but I won't buy from Beauty Counter because I don't believe that how they have their review process set up is fair. I think that if you believe in your product and what you create, then you should allow and invite rather, however you want to do it, people to review the products back on your website. So that's why I'm really, really glad I have this channel. I am totally open to hearing and learning more about maybe the whys behind it. Maybe there's something I can't see as a consumer and there's a reason they're doing this. But for now, I just really think that's totally messed up and I'm not a fan and that's why I will not be purchasing from Beauty Counter Consultants or the website in the future until they change that. That's just me. You, however, can buy, love. I'm sure there are 700 plus people at least saying that they love this. Take this opinion with a grain of salt, but as you know, I will always keep it real for you here, trying to be as objective as possible. When I saw that, you're not even allowing your customers to write a review. Like, what is that about? I don't get it, I don't get it. The other thing that I wanna point out on their product page is how they talk about these clinical studies. Now, when people say dermatologist approved, I, you've heard me say it here before, I'm like, what dermatologist do? Is, is it a good dermatologist? Is it like a reputable dermatologist? I, what, which dermatologist approves these? But nobody has the time to dig into this. So what they said was 97% saw this and da 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 saw this. We've heard this as women, we hear this all the time. It says in a little asterisk, based on a 32 subject consumer perception study, what does that even mean? So after four weeks of using this product, 32 women, are they older? Are they younger? Do they have oily skin? Do they work out a lot? Do they eat really well? What? That means nothing to me. It really doesn't. Like if you sit back and you think about it, and I see these on tons of products, so really I'm not only calling out Beauty Counter, it just hit me twice as hard when I was looking at their product page for some reason. It just did. Just make sure you're reading these things and going, okay, 32 people tried this 
And when did they try this? Did they try it for 20? Did they follow the regimen? And how do you know when you see f an increased firmness? I want to know that. How do you know when you see increase? Do you have to, like do this every day? And you're like, oh, no, that's next day is better. Oh, it's a little better. It's a little worse. Like, how do you even test that? Anyway, I thought that was really strange too. I'm going to go into a very, very fast scorecard review of this and let you know all the details. But I just wanted to put that out there. Buyer kind of beware a little bit here, like think twice about it. I've told all of my friends, I'm like, hey guys, FYI, if you're gonna buy Beauty Counter, just know that those reviews aren't always 100% from everybody. They're not covering all of the reviews there. Granted, there are tons of fake reviews, so that's the other problem on other sites, but in a time where this is such a buzzed about and talked about topic, you would think that there would be more care put into that. And maybe that's what they're doing, but I'm not leaving a fake review. Why can't I leave a review and let them know a fair assessment of how this worked for my skin tone and not say that's gonna happen to everybody, but it certainly was my experience and consumers should be able to see that side of things. So on that note, here's the rest of it. Sorry, minor rant, but yeah. Mm. How do the ingredients look here? I went through every one of them. They're EWG verified elsewhere, but like I went through each one. I didn't see many red flags. We're good. Still though, if you have sensitive skin, take a look because I don't have sensitive skin and this did not play well with my skin. Application. This is more of a liquid thin product. That doesn't mean it's bad. It glides on. It's a very light layer and it's a little tacky, but it's not super sticky or overly tacky at all. It just is very thin. Almost feels like a um, light layer of primer. That's what it felt like. Scent is a little, smells a little bit like alcohol when you first sniff it, when it first comes out of the bottle. Speaking of getting it out of the bottle, this pump, while I love the packaging, the pump had it spraying everywhere. I don't know if that was just me and not being able to figure out the pump. I don't know what the deal was. So I have to be very calculated when I press this pump down. And at first it smells more like alcohol than I'd like it to. I don't know where that's coming from. Kind of threw me off at first too. And then it dissipates after you apply it. In terms of being irritating, I only did a one week review. They post reviews and results from people who used it for 30 days. Uh, I could only get through one week because my skin got very red here. My forehead started kind of getting uneven and breaking out. It just made my skin very dry and it changed the texture of my skin. So once something does that in a non-positive way, I don't want to mess with it anymore, not for the sake of the channel, not, and I know you guys wouldn't ask me to do that, but I could feel that it was just rougher and drier, and I think if I'd have kept with this, it would have just gotten worse and worse, so I found this to be very irritating. My skin didn't like it, and that's why it didn't perform very well on that. Now, does it do what it says it's gonna do? So let's go back to the few things that it said it was gonna do. Visibly increases skin firmness and elasticity, so I checked it every day. It did not do that for me. I did not see that. I don't even know well, I might not be the best judge for that because I'm not sure how that would look if my skin got firmer or more elastic. I don't know. Reducing the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. No. Did it make them worse? No, not really. It just dried the heck out of my skin. <laughs> Which takes me to optimizes hydration for a radiant complexion. No, no, not for me. It did not do that at all. This was just a huge miss. It actually did the opposite. So my final verdict, it was based solely on performance. I couldn't recommend this to somebody that has my skin type. For somebody with an oily skin type, this might work. For somebody with a different kind of skin type, this may very well work. Also keep in mind that there are always other variables involved when it comes to skincare. So if you're putting this serum on and it's supposed to hydrate and you don't even have a stitch of water and just drink espresso all day, yeah, your skin's going to suffer. Stress relates to your skin. You guys know this. All the inside out, the holistic approach applies here. So there are other variables, but overall, I will not recommend this. In fact of the matter is, I wanted to leave a review that wasn't a five star review. I asked the company if I could do it. They, in a very friendly, like emoji way said, nope, sorry, can't do that. And that really does not sit right with me. I find that to be not a good business practice. And so I will not be ordering from Beauty Counter unless that changes. And even if it does, anything I've tried from them just hasn't really meshed with my skin. So my skin just, we're just, we're not like friends. Usually I find one good thing in a brand. I just haven't done that yet with Beauty Counter. So I'm happy for the people that love it and have a great time. Maybe you're one of the 700 plus that it was able to leave a positive five-star review. For the rest of us though, um, just wanted to give you my experience with this, my honest experience with this. I bought it. Obviously they're not paying me to say any of this. And I really, really want you to know about this review situation. Let me know what you think about it. What do you think about that? Do you think that you should be able to leave a review on the website without 
without having to gain permission to do so from the brand. What are your thoughts? Let me know, squad. And if you've had other experiences with this or any other PD Counter products, please share. Remember, we're trying to keep it as constructive as possible. I'm not trying to just speak negatively or down talk a brand here. I'm just trying to share information. And this is my information. I'm sharing it with you. And if you want to share something back, just try and keep it as constructive as possible, which you guys do a fantastic job of. So I really, really appreciate it. And that's all I have to say about this radiant serum that was anything but. And I am so excited. <laughs> So excited to go back to my herbivore. Oh, I'm so excited. Skin's excited. I'm just excited. You live and you learn, right? All right. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you appreciated this kind of a review, then make sure you give it a thumbs up to support the channel. It means a lot. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another video like this one. I'm gonna go hydrate my face a little bit more, drink some water, test some additional skincare, and I will be back right here real soon. Until then, bye.